Good evening, Planet Earth. Lieutenant Obvious reporting. Welcome to an episode of Mega Man Maker. So this is my very first recording with the new episode of Mega Maker, which is now known as Mega Man Maker. They put the man back in Mega Maker. So essentially, I went over the differences in the new version just superficially in my January 2008 channel trailer video, which is now posted um, kind of like as the as a trailer for this channel. So I'm not going to go so much into like what's new about this version as as compared to the previous versions of Mega Maker. However, if I do come up with them, uh, if I do come up across any differences as I'm going through the levels, I will mention them and narrate them. Now, I do also kind of like the interface. It's a little bit cleaner. You don't have to click so many buttons to get to a lot of these sub-menus, such as the random levels, which I like to use very frequently. Now, also that I've discovered the magic of video editing. I'm probably going to edit out a lot of these loading screens. So as soon as I hit the random button, we'll show up to a level. Okay, so we came across Dr. Cossack's greenhouse facility, Bart Simpson 315, created by Bart Simpson 315. So, looks like no one's played this level. I am the very first person to play this level, so will I give him a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Let's find out. Featuring Woodman as a boss. All right, see what you got, Bart. It doesn't really look like look like a uh, greenhouse. Okay, so Firestorm and Silver Tom Tomahawk. Those are my two weapons. No Mega Buster. Actually, this okay, that's gonna be a tricky jump right there, trying to navigate the the tackle fires. I'll just take him out from a distance, and it's probably the safest way to get around. Okay, so I can slide, and once again, those are my only my only weapons. How do the fire bars block my my firestorm? That's a little bit ridiculous. Is it like that in the original Mega Man game? I don't remember. It makes the progress in this segment really painfully slow, though. Okay. The tellies coming from above are kind of more of a nuisance than an actual threat. Okay, let's keep on going. Okay. Moving platform and tellies, go figure. I guess I'm glad I have the little the temporary shield effect of the firestorm to defend against the tellies. It'd be it'd be not necessarily a lot harder, but it would be a little bit more difficult. If you had just a Mega Buster, even as a Silver Tomahawk, because you would not really have a way, a means to fire upward. All right, checkpoint. Whoa. Okay, so there are mini bosses in this game now, in this version. So to go back to the oh, and the tackle. Okay, it's a little bit of challenge here, although you kind of. Okay, you kind of had a safe, a safe spot right here. I don't know if that was intended by the creator or not, but. Looks like, well, looks like we have to deal with some, um, mini-bosses now. So anyway, like, um, I had... I was trying to mention earlier about the new, about the new, um, features of the update. So, I haven't exactly... Actually, I will talk about that blue item right there in just a second. So, I've, I've only played through it just a little bit. So, I haven't actually explored all the new features yet. So, I'm just gonna kind of go through them on the fly. Okay, so, by the way, speaking of brand new features, that blue item that I picked up downstairs was actually a key, and so there's actually keys and doors that you can open, and you can also acquire new items on the fly. So it looks like I have Bomb Man's weapon, which I might either need the Hyper Bomb, which I might either need for the boss or to continue getting through this level. It's kind of an interesting gimmick. Okay, so I'm definitely going to need the Hyper Bomb for that. It's an interesting gimmick that, um... That, um, definitely adds, like, a couple extra elements to this game. It actually makes these levels a lot... In, in a way, it makes them a lot more like Mario levels, because... Uh, I think Silver Tomahawk might work well here. That's better, yeah, because of the arc of the... Arc of the Tomahawks. Yeah, so, keys and doors are actually a Mario gimmick. And they've never actually, to my knowledge, they've never actually appeared- That's a stupid jump. They've never appeared in a Mega Man game. 
but I can just imagine all the different types of, um, all the, all the different types of new, all the new types of, um, level designs that can, that can come up as a result of that. Um, I pause there for a second because, <laughs> I pause there for a second because it seems like if you die, you lose your progress. So, for example, I lost the Hyper Bomb, so I'm gonna have to essentially earn it again. I just ran out of Firestorm. So, oh my god, I fell for the... <laughs> I fell for the same exact thing again. I'm gonna have to fire the... Fire the Firestorm as I'm crossing the pit to make sure that I don't get manhandled by these Tackle Fires. Like so. Okay, so it means that I am gonna have to go back inside this passageway and then collect the key. Now, because Firestorm is my primary weapon, I can spam it as much as I want and not have to worry about using up weapon energy, unlike my Silver Tomahawk, which is all depleted. I'm gonna have to get that um, replenished at some point, if I need it. Actually, I believe there was that one... There was that one Sniper Joe, which was up there, up there that was really... That would have been really useful to have it, but... Oh. I actually have a small amount of silver tomahawk left, but let me see if I can take him out with a bomb. Okay, that actually worked pretty well. Okay. Make the jump. Now let's keep going right. Here's where I really could have used the silver tomahawk. Uh, didn't get a whole lot of... Didn't get a whole lot of hits on him, but... I have to come up right next to him and tank him. There we go. And here was the stupid jump that I missed last time. Okay, made it. It's good. Okay, I knew there had to be something there because I don't have rush coil. Okay. Moving onward. Ah. So that must be... I have not actually looked into make in the level maker part of this new version, but it looks like they must have like some kind of scripting where you can have you can have enemies enemies or obstacles coming out of coming out of the pit. Oh and you can even label boss doors now. Cool. Okay, actually the fire is kinda of rips through these screw bombers quite nicely. And you get a checkpoint good, so you don't have to worry about screwing up. Okay, now you would think that Woodman would be susceptible to this firestorm. Oh, oh my god, yeah, he is. Wow. Four hits. Five hits. Wow, you kind of you kind of burn through him pretty quickly. It's a good one to start off, though. Okay. So, I am happy to have played your level first, and I'll give you a thumbs up. That was actually a really... Um, that, uh, that was actually a really good one. The, in particular, I kind of like the design elements where you where you did actually make it tricky. For example, like, I did forget about those tackle fires rising out of that pit, and it did get me once or twice. Where, um, I'm, I'm thinking specifically about that section where you had the... I forget the name of it, like, the, that, like that, that tiger boss from Woodman Stage. Um... There was an oversight about where you had that safe area there where you couldn't get hit. I don't know if that was intentional or not. But if it was, good on you for actually having the foresight to think about that. Otherwise, that was actually a good level. And... Good job, Bart. I don't know I don't know if I've, if I've played any of your levels before, but it was actually pretty good, so... Glad to give it a thumbs up. I think I might just do one more level this time, depending on how long it goes. Okay, so we arrived at the Ice Temple by Ibrahim. 22 plays, plus 2 rating. I hope it's not like the actual Ice Temple from, what is it, like Legend of Zelda Link to the Past? Doesn't look very icy though. Metal Blade and Top Spin. Okay. Checkpoint already. Interesting. It does kind of does kind of break the level if you just if you get free metal blade you can just spam it to hell. Nothing. Not that there's anything really wrong with that. 
Although, holy hell, how did I lose so much health? <laughs> I'll take that, which I kind of need it. Okay, so it looks like we're actually in the ice. We're at the boss already? What the hell? Okay. This is kind of bizarre. Can Stone Man actually make it down underneath here? I don't know. If this is all I have to do, this is actually pitifully easy. Because then I can even do some slip sliding to get rid of the extra tellies. But there's no way he can attack me, especially because all Stone Man does is attack once and then jump around a whole lot. That's even two back from the original Mega Man 5. Almost got him. Get rid of the last tellies. That last one almost got away. Okay, that one is actually pitifully easy. Um, yeah, not too much to say about it, except, uh... The ice came later, and it wasn't really much of an ice temple. Um, Alright. Okay. Let's, mo let's move on to... I guess one last one. For today. Boom Boom Get Away featuring Bomb Man. Created by Sonic Man. 16 plays, pump one... Pump one. Plus one rating. Okay. Nothing wrong with a good Bomb Man battle. Boom, boom, get away. Oh, what the shit? <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? Okay. So it's all count bombs. Sweet. Although, where am I supposed to... Charge kick, okay. Uh... Okay, I can see how this can get dicey pretty quickly. Oh crap. Search snake. Just wait for that to disappear. Okay, that tadpole is going to become problematic. I think I'm supposed to... I think I'm supposed to charge kick through... Through that gap right there. Oh, that's... That frickin' metal. I think I'm in a loop where the metals is gonna keep hitting me. Damn it. Okay, I'm just gonna start over at the at the checkpoint. So it's kinda hard to sight read, although I think I have an idea what to do here. You just kinda charge kick through it. I you have to search game through it. And you get, now, now the metal is gonna be. You pretty much can't trigger the metal, or make him fire the other, other way, but then I press the wrong button and ended up falling downward. Okay, but... It's one of those things, like, it's not exactly... It's not exactly complicated. It's a little bit hard to pull off. Okay, so I need to get the metal to fire to the right. There we go. And then... Okay, there we go. That was actually hard- Okay, that was actually harder than it looks. Just, I guess maybe you could say it made it look easy, but... It certainly wasn't. I don't- I'm not really looking forward to having to do this again, so... Okay, got a- Got a safe spot over here, and I wonder if there's a boss battle waiting for me... Up there. Sure looks like it. Okay. Bomb man. <laughs> oh man. And of course he can't set off any bombs. So it looks like I'm like safe on the bottom. I wonder if I can kind of lure him on the bottom. I hope I don't have to hit him with the charge kick. Yeah, that's that's hard. Okay. He is vulnerable to search snake though. So I kind of created, like, an empty space here on the bottom if I can just get him to stay on the bottom. Okay. Now this is kind of clear. This is the regular Bomb Man battle. And then you just kind of lead him with your shots. Okay. That wasn't so bad at all. Okay, I'm definitely going to give this a thumbs up because I did like the... I did like the maneuvering that was, that was needed, especially having to do with the charge kick, so... Um, 
that one part in the middle where you had the metal is actually kind of brilliant on the um, on the part of the level designer Sonic Man because it's annoying enough that you actually have to have skill to get past it, yet it's not cheap. So honestly, it's actually a really good it's actually a really good um, level design, and actually I want to give uh, Sonic Man some props for that. So you know what? I think I'm gonna stop the video for now. We got three good levels and three good levels, and then it was a good start to this brand new version of Mega Maker, now called Mega Man Maker. So anyway, I hope you keep it, keep watching this series and enjoy what I'm doing here because I'm gonna be putting a lot more Mega Man Maker videos starting now and in the future. Just uh, this is gonna be like one of the staples of this gaming channel. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed what I'm doing. If you like, uh, if you like these type of videos, please leave me a comment, and I'd love to see your feedback. Also, if you like it even more, give it a like or even subscribe. So for now, this is Lieutenant Obvious signing out. One day I'll make it to Captain. Later, everybody.